what's going on YouTube this is chaos rain here and today I'm going to show you a little bit about the um, basically an update on my build and where I'm at in league and I will follow up with another build about standard and kind of show you exactly um, what else I've been working on to fix up and to kind of tweak and you know just to get to functioning order now there are a couple of things I want to say up front first and foremost I have uh, I have and fully intend to uh, make two videos a day, however today has been a huge grind for me. I ran a whole bunch of contracts, and I ran a couple of blueprints, and then I went straight to mapping, and I mapped and crangled a whole bunch of things. Now, one thing I will say is running crangled maps is very fun, however, because console hasn't gotten the update yet, I don't think um, <clears throat> I don't think the whole Kringled map thing is very profitable for us just yet. It's really profitable to run them when you have them, but uh, we don't have the market that uh, PC has, so we can't just sit there and buy a whole bunch of Kringled maps off market. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with my bad controller. This controller has controller drift. I'm sorry, but um, I'll just go really quickly go over the gear pieces that I have upgraded, assuming I can get my controller to work. Hold on. No? Alright. So first things first, we have upgraded our amulet from our, you know, bad one to this. This is a T2 dot multi. Unfortunately, it's it's really hard for me to L3 on this bad controller, but this is T2 dot multi T2 life, along with plus one to chaos scale gems. Now I hit this with <coughs> reforge chaos about six, seven times and it hit. And then this one is T1 dot multi with T3 life, I think. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Nope. There we go. Nope. Yeah. T3 life. So we have life on a couple pieces of our gear. Every th uh, things we need to upgrade is a ring and our belt. Um, we have changed our auras again. We are now using Grace, Skitterbots, um, Malevolence, and um, our banner. I forgot the banner's name. Hold on. Banner is Defiance Banner for armor and evasion. We don't have a lot of armor to begin with, so we don't actually get it, but we do have 87% chance to evade attacks with 100% spell suppression and 55% of that of those spells um, are suppressed. We have a very healthy amount of evasion, as you can see, and because we are using Kintsugi, as soon as we are hit once, we immediately basically evasion cap. And then, of course, we take 20% less damage if we haven't taken a hit, so it's pretty solid. <coughs> Now, another thing I will mention is our belt is just bad. As you can see, it's basically a life belt with uh, one res, two res, I think. No, it's, yeah, it's three res. It's a life belt with three res. We got this really early on and haven't, you know, fixed it. This is going to be one of our next upgrades, along with our ring. Our ring is a cogwork ring that we found because it had triple res, uh, cold lightning, and chaos, and we just kind of kept that. Now, ideally, we'll need a tri-res belt and a dual res or very good um, two stone ring um, with uh, you know some some good stuff and then this one needs to be replaced once I get our hunter ring with the spare on hit we can replace this and that we then can take out our skitter bots all together and maybe reserve like determination or <clears throat> something like that so that's the first thing the next thing I kind of uh, tweaked my tree a little bit I unspec these extra nodes on the side here and I went and took a little more life and I got this cluster here. So this cluster here is allowing me to reserve grace at less mana reservation efficiency and I get 10 to all res, which further helps me cap my reses a little bit farther. Um, this basically gives me a safety net on when I do remove an item, I have a little bit less res to get back or I have to get a little bit less res back to basically, you know, complete my reses again. So thankfully I did that. And then we have, <coughs> I believe we that's about the major changes we did. Oh, we took this, which is Taste of Blood, 10 life gain on hit, and then 5 life gain on hit, which is right there. And then we have Life Leech, which is whatever. But the 15 life gain on hit essentially means that while we're spamming our core rain, we basically instantly go to full life. So those are our quality of life changes. Now I'll go ahead and get into the methods I've been doing. Now first things first is what I mentioned first is the Scourge maps. Unfortunately, to get this to tier 3 took me about 10 or 15 maps plus all, all red tier all, or high yellow tier. And that's pretty insane. It takes way too long to get it to this point. And then you get stuff like you get additional Scourged item. 
which 99.9% .9 of the time is just trash. Now, obviously, we have the players lose life um, per second when we are in Nightmare. That's not very cool. However, usually you're, I'm going to be in Nightmare pretty and if um, not too long, hopefully. And I do have a lot of life gain on a hit, so I should be good to go there. Our um, biggest, our biggest thing that we have been basically using to farm is if I go here, is basically using the league mechanic to get these done. Now, as you can see here, it's only a 5 lane 5 socket. Now, what I'm hoping is it cringles and it gets a 6 socket, and then I can just hit it with Tainted Fusings. Now, if it does get a 6 socket, then it's, you know, good to go, easy, easy going. If it doesn't, however, and all three cringles, what I'm going to do from there is use Tainted Jeweler's Orbs. Because Jeweler's Orbs are less than a Chaos each, I can get a pretty decent amount of them and just start spamming it. Now, what I recommend you do here... <coughs> is you get it to four sockets first which would be four valves four jewelers or five valves five jewelers and then you hit it with jewelers orbs if you go under four if you stay at four and you just kind of fluctuate just keep spamming and it's not going to be a big deal um as you can see i'm kind of setting up for my eye shot i'm hoping this hits something really really crazy um one of the, a couple of the things i would love would be extra arrow or triple damage and anything that says doesn't say deal no cold damage because that would just basically break my heart at this point this is a very high rolled 30 quality bow and i ho i hope it turns out great but i you know i know that that's not always going to be the case so as you can see we are um kringling a new map because this one happened to hit the rare scourged um item i don't really care about that i'm just going to run it to get the legion spinners out and call it a day i and this one i'm going to see obviously what it gets and this one's another one that's you know relatively good uh, so i that's something else now, aside from doing all that, we also are doing our contracts. As you can see, we have managed to keep a relatively empty high soccer. And this is with running um, all of our contracts and buying some. We only have this much, and I just recently bought some. So, as you can see, we don't have a lot of them. They're going to go by real quick, especially because, you know, they're, they're our best currency makers thus far. Now, I could do the Nemesis 3 farm, but I did that last league, the league before, the league before that, so I don't really want to do it again. Um, I'm going to be farming instead. Um, if I go to my Atlas, as you can see here, we are officially Awakener level 8. We have jumped 6 whole Awakener levels in one day. Now, we just rushed it. We didn't get our, our completions done. As you can see, we need to do that, but um, it's fine. I'm having fun with the league, so I don't really care too much. And uh, you can't see it, but we have all three nodes taken in our Lyra Arthane area and all three of those uh, all three nodes specifically for Expedition. Now I mentioned this before but Expedition is one of my favorite mechanics to come to the game. It's very fun. It has literally everything for you and you can literally supply yourself with anything and everything you need off of one game mechanic. Kind of like Heist except for you don't have to have any extra time invested. You literally can just buy logbooks and then run them. Now what's better than buying logbooks is finding logbooks. Now what you can do to find your logbooks more often is run it in Lyra Arthane and run the Scarabs. Now the Scarabs, basically you can run any of them. Um, the basic one you would want to run is essentially the Rested, just so you guarantee yourself a Expedition. And then on average it's about one out of every three or so maps will give you a logbook. Of course this scales off of your map quantity so if you decide to Alk and Go, it's probably going to be better off than just running them white. Or if you want to go super ham and do like four chisels and then put f um, ten of each sack frag in and then just kind of, you know, pop them, pop them, pop them as you go. Do as much as you can, as fast as you can. You know, you'll, you'll probably get a lot of them that way as well. Now, um, aside from this farming method, I am doing a couple other things. Um, we are doing the blight farming method. I'm going to try and farm as many red tier blight maps as possible. And to do that, I need to roll watchstones for this area too. It's not too hard to do, and I can probably farm anywhere between 50 and 100 blight maps in the span of, I'd like to say, two or three hours, maybe less. Um, and, you know, if I spend a whole day doing it, I can get about 100 plus. And they're selling for about 40 plus chaos each. And if they're dropped in this area, we have the, let's see if I can find it. Uh, additional reward chest. They might have taken off the notable that I'm thinking of. Hold on. Well, 
before, the, I believe, there was a notable that said you can um, basically f drop them pre-anointed. Now, it, that's not really necessary anymore because oils are really common thanks to this league mechanic. So, you know, it's, it's what it, it is what it is. You can, re you can always anoint them. And then, of course, getting the super bite maps. Those ones are very valuable and very, very, you know, popular to run. Only certain people can run it, and the people who can run it usually pay a premium for it. And then, obviously, in Haywork, we just have the Essence spec so far. Eventually, we'll go for Harvest so we can reforge more stuff, because, let's face it, we're not going to get too many good crafts here. And then, our last area, we have spec the Beyond. Now, uh, the reason why I chose Beyond over everything else, well, there's a couple of reasons. <coughs> the first reason is because Beyond is literally the most inexpensive investment kind of thing that you can do off rip and you can start doing it at a low tier so if i really wanted to i can do basically all my white tier maps in this area with nemesis 3 and stuff like that and still make profit even after sextant spamming now this isn't necessarily a guarantee that i'm going to make fortunes but i can easily easily make a lot of currency this way and as I get more currency, I can buy more watchstones. As I buy more watchstones, I can just kind of, you know, fuel into it. And once I get to a point to where I have 30 or so watchstones and I can rotate them, I can get a whole bunch of sextants out and then run the maps in tandem and kind of sustain my sext sextants as I, go, as I go. I've done so a couple leagues in a row, but as I said, this isn't my main goal. This is just something that's good to have an option for. And if you look, there's not really a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, I could do, you know... Alvas again and farm Alva temples. That's that's totally an option for me. I can even do my white maps because my white missions because I have a bunch of them and I haven't ran them yet. Or I could do exiles or I could do abyssal depths. But abyssal depths isn't very pop, um, you know popular. But uh, one of the other ones I guess is this one, our uh, legion. But I really don't like legion. I did it for a whole league and that's just like after you do it for 20, 40, 50, 60, 100 maps or whatever and sitting there it's like okay i can get a bunch of headhunter buffs and kill everything all right now what you know what i mean so that's just my opinion um i'm probably if i do decide to do juice i'm gonna go with beyond and this because this is very very fun to chase these things around and get a whole bunch of rares and they give you a whole lot of uh, pack size as well so that's basically where I'm at in League and what I'm doing and what my plans are. Now I have mentioned, I don't know if I have mentioned it for sure, but I have kind of uh, came across it as a thought. I am going to be selling all my Cyrus fights in League simply because I don't really need anything from them. All of my gear planned is going to be either unique or, or single influence or even just mostly unique for my ice shot. And all of the double influence stuff I can think of that would be cool is completely optional and doesn't even increase the overall output of my DPS. Um, maybe my clear and in some cases it may give, like if I decide to make an explode chest I have a chance to explode, which is okay, but I already have Herald device. So it's just kind of uh, Awakener orbs are just going to be sold anyway and it's not, a, not even a very high chance to drop them. Same thing goes with the Awakened gems, they're not very high chance to drop and when they do drop the chances of them being actually worth something is few and far between. I ran Cyrus for many leagues in a row and the way I figured is if I can get a guaranteed exalt per Cyrus fight it's better than running 10 Cyrus fights and getting one three exalt gym or one two exalt to four exalt awakener's orb. Of course you can get the jewel or the savior or anything like that but I mean honestly I don't care. Um, I just want to be able to get in and out of my maps and do my do the content I want to do which is going to be heist and of course, uh, Expedition when I get to it. So that's about it for my League um, update. Without further ado, I will um, see you guys off. If you guys have any questions, you want to hear any tips, tricks, or um, want some advice on how I go about doing the stuff I do, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or, sus or um, anything like that. You can subscribe, click the little bell icon to notify you of my new videos, and if you have any interest or vested interest on how I go about building any of my builds, you are more than welcome to request it and I can give you a full build breakdown and a guide on how I do what I do. Thank you so much for watching and as always, take it easy everybody.